Hello everyone, my name is David. Today we are going to take a look at another horrible case with you. In September 2018, a 46-year-old man named Chandravir Singh, residing in the city of Ghaziabad, India, suddenly goes missing. The next day, his family members file a missing person report at the police station. The police search for Chandravir for several months, but when they fail to find any clues, the case is eventually closed. However, four years later, the police discover Chandravir's body in a location that astonishes them. Finally, answers to all these questions of who, why, and how Chandravir was killed will be revealed in the next few minutes. Before moving ahead, let me tell you that the city where Chandravir Singh lived was undergoing rapid development and it was known for producing the most vegetables, oils, glass, pottery, and railway coaches in India. Chandravir owned a significant amount of land where he engaged in farming. He had a brother and a wife, but unfortunately his wife was often ill. He took care of her and arranged for her treatment, but eventually she passed away. After his wife's death, Chandravir was left alone with only his brother in the house. However, some people suggested that he should consider remarrying, and Chandravir agreed. After a few days, Chandravir received a proposal from a woman named Savita. At the time, Savita was 30 years old, and her husband had passed away a short while ago. However, Chandravir also likes Savita, and thereafter, Chandravir and Savita get married in 2015. Although Savita had a daughter from her first marriage, Chandravir accepts Savita's daughter as his own. Now, after the marriage, they both start living happily. However, after a few months, like any normal family, there are occasional disagreements between Chandravir and Savita. However, they quickly resolve these disagreements, and time passes by happily with their three children. By 2018, Savita and Chandravir had been married for more than three years. Now, their relationship was not as smooth as before. Instead, they often had arguments, and Chandravir started coming home late at night after drinking heavily. In the midst of this, on September 29, 2018, Chandravir's wife goes to the nearby police station with her husband's younger brother to report Chandravir missing. In the report, Savita writes, Chandravir has not come home all night. We tried to find him, but we have no information about him. After this, the police begin searching for Chandravir, first taking statements from family members and neighbors, but his whereabouts remain unknown. For several days, the police continued their search for Chandravir. During the investigation, Chandravir's brother raised suspicion on some people in the village for allegedly kidnapping his brother. The police also questioned the man accused by Chandravir's brother during the investigation, but they couldn't find any evidence. After several months of investigation, the police presented the final report in court, closing the case due to lack of evidence. As time passed, people forgot about Chandravir. By 2022, more than four years had passed since the case was closed. However, on April 4, 2022, Muniraj G was appointed as the new senior superintendent of police of Ghaziabad city. Upon assuming the position of SSP, Muniraj requested files of all unsolved cases from all police stations in his jurisdiction, one of which was the missing case of Chandravir Singh. After reviewing Chandravir's file, SSP Muniraj sought assistance from the crime branch to solve the case. However, shortly after, he assigned the full responsibility of the case to Abdur Rahman Siddiqui, the head of the Ghaziabad crime branch. Rahman Siddiqui was known for his expertise in solving intricate and mysterious crimes, and he had previously solved many unsolved cases. Taking charge of Chandravir's case, Siddiqui first arrived at Chandravir's village and began questioning neighbors and relatives. In this investigation, several days pass, but no evidence is found. However, the investigating team learns from somewhere that when Savita married Chandravir soon after, Discord began between them because Savita had started to love her neighbor, Arun. Later, the investigating team finds out that Chandravir's wife still lives in the same house with her children, and her eldest daughter works at a beauty parlor nearby. Upon learning this, Officer Rahman Siddiqui 
suspects that Savita's eldest daughter could be a crucial link in this investigation and might provide information that could help solve the case. Then one day, when Savita's daughter is going to work, Officer Raman Siddiqui stops her on the way and asks her about Chandravir. But as soon as the girl hears her father's name, she becomes quite nervous and says she doesn't know anything before leaving. Officer Raman Siddiqui finds this behavior of Savita's daughter quite strange. However, now he suspects that this girl might have some information that could help solve the case. A few days later, Raman Siddiqui meets the girl again, this time explaining things to her with great affection. He also tells her, If you help the police, maybe we can find your father quickly. Despite assurances that nothing will happen to her, the girl still doesn't speak much to the officer and leaves without providing any necessary information. The crime branch now begins to suspect that perhaps this case won't be solved this time either. But then one day, a boy comes to Raman Siddiqui's office and says that a few months before Chandravir disappeared, there was a big fight between Chandravir and his wife Savita. The reason for this fight was that Chandravir had caught his wife and their neighbor Arun in an inappropriate situation. Additionally, the boy also reveals that even after Chandravir's disappearance, some people from the village had seen Arun and Savita meeting secretly. Perhaps Arun and Savita together kidnapped Chandravir. This was the second time Raman Siddiqui had heard Arun's name in this case. Now, Officer Siddiqui decides to secretly interrogate Arun and Savita. Then one day, the police suddenly go to their house and take Arun and Savita away from there. In the initial interrogation, both of them were acting very innocent in front of the police, but after some time, Arun breaks down in front of the police officer's sternness, and then a secret is revealed that astonishes everyone. Friends, before moving forward in the video, I have a small request for you. I want to let you know that behind the David True Crime channel, there is a team of five people who work hard to bring you the best quality content through thorough research. Currently, our team is entirely dependent on the YouTube Partner Program, but due to low subscribers on our channel, we are not receiving any financial support from YouTube. Therefore, we are unable to cover the expenses of video production. Without financial support, we won't be able to continue working for long. If you appreciate our efforts, you can support us according to your preference by visiting the link provided in the description. Your small support will motivate us to work effectively on the channel. Thank you. Now, let's continue with the story. Arun reveals that when Chandravir got remarried, Savita came to his house, but a few months later, I met Savita. Arun's house was next to Chandravir's, and he seemed to be Chandravir's brother by relationship due to which Savita became Arun's sister-in-law. In the subsequent questioning, Arun mentioned that during their occasional encounters, he was unaware of when he and Savita got close to each other. Similarly, when one day in 2017 Chandravir went somewhere, Arun came to his house to meet Savita. However, Chandravir returned home shortly after and caught Arun and his wife Savita in an inappropriate situation. After this, Conflicts between Savita and Chandravir began, escalating over time. Despite this, Savita and Arun continued to meet, leading to Chandravir starting to drink alcohol due to the tension. According to Arun's statement, after a point Savita wanted to leave Chandravir and stay with Arun. However, both of them knew that this was not possible as long as Chandravir was alive. Therefore, one day, Arun and Savita planned to kill Chandravir. Subsequently, on the night of September 28, 2018, Chandravir came home heavily intoxicated. Upon arriving home, Chandravir went to sleep on his cot. When Chandravir fell asleep, around 1 a.m. as per the plan, Arun quietly went to Chandravir's house. At this time, Savita was also awake. Then both of them quietly approached Chandravir's cot. First, without making any noise, Savita placed a bucket right below Chandravir's head. Afterwards, Arun pulls out the pistol he had brought with him and shoots Chandravir straight in the head. The bullet is fired so close to the head that Chandravir doesn't even get a chance to flinch, and as soon as the bullet hits, Chandravir dies. All the blood oozing from the head wound keeps collecting in the bucket placed by Savita under Chandravir's head. For about an hour, blood keeps dripping from Chandravir's head into that bucket. 
and when the dripping stops, Arun and Savita step outside the house to see if anyone reacted to the gunshot, but there's no commotion outside. So now, Arun lifts Chandravir's body onto his shoulders and takes him inside his house, with Savita accompanying him. With the body in tow, Arun goes behind his house, where they used to feed their pet animals. The plan to kill Chandravir was so perfect that Arun had already dug an eight-foot deep pit, so that right after the murder, his body could be buried in the pit, making everyone believe that Chandravir had suddenly gone somewhere or had been kidnapped. When Arun brings Chandravir's body near the pit, he notices a silver bracelet on Chandravir's wrist. Then Arun tries to remove that bracelet, but despite several attempts, he couldn't get the bracelet off Chandravir's hand. Finally, Arun goes back inside his house and returns with the axe. With that axe, he chops off Chandravir's hand and then keeps the silver bracelet for himself. Afterwards, Savita and Arun together throw Chandravir into that pit and cover it with soil. Then Arun spreads animal feed over it so that no one suspects that someone is buried there. After this, both of them start drama of Chandravir's disappearance in the morning. The next day, Savita goes to the police station with her brother-in-law and files a report about her husband's disappearance so that no one doubts her. When Arun's name comes up in the initial investigation, he is questioned, but he successfully convinces the police that he has no information about Chandravir. The place where Savita and Arun buried Chandravir was originally where Arun used to tie his cows and buffaloes. But after burying Chandravir there for some time, Arun gets a room constructed there. Above the place where Chandravir was buried, Arun builds a large room. After the room is constructed, Arun sets up his bed there and starts living there comfortably, sleeping peacefully over Chandravir's grave for four years. But now, after this revelation, the police go straight to Arun's house and dig a pit on his instructions. After excavation, at a depth of eight feet, human skeleton are found which belong to Chandravir. Subsequently, the police recover evidence from Arun and Savita's possession, including the gun used in the murder, a bucket used to collect blood, and the axe used to chop off Chandravir's hand. When the police asked both killers where they got the idea to bury the body like that, Arun replied that he had seen a movie in which the hero buried the body near his house in the ground of the police station under construction. Despite their efforts, the police couldn't find the body. The police revealed the case publicly on November 15, 2022, after capturing Arun and Savita. The police recovered the remains and items used in Chandravir's murder, leading to the arrest of Savita and Arun. The decision in this case is pending. If Savita and Arun are punished according to Indian law in the future, we will update you through our channel's community post. Well. Who was the boy who told the police about Arun and Savita, and why did he tell the police? There is a very interesting story behind it. When Rahman Siddiqui talks to Savita's elder daughter for the second time, although she doesn't tell the police anything, but she later informs her boyfriend about being stopped by the police and being questioned about her father. Afterwards, the girl's boyfriend tells her, If you know anything about your father, tell me. In response, the girl tells her boyfriend, the night my father disappeared while I was asleep, I suddenly heard a loud noise which woke me up. Then when I looked out of my room, my mother and our neighbor Arun were running out of the house. I suspect that my mother and Arun had something to do with my father's disappearance. Till date, I haven't spoken to anyone about it because of my fear of my mother. When the girl tells her boyfriend this whole story, he sees an opportunity even in this situation. In fact, Savita wanted to marry off her elder daughter to a close relative of Arun, while Savita's daughter was insisting on marrying her boyfriend. This disagreement between the mother and daughter had also led to a fight, and her boyfriend was aware that the girl's mother was planning to marry her off elsewhere. But after hearing Chandravir's elder daughter's story, her boyfriend says, If we tell the police about this, your mother and Arun will be caught by the police, and then we can easily get married. After this, the boy goes to the police and tells the whole story. In this way, the police also get a major lead in the case, which clears the path for both lovers as well. So with that, 
the Chandravir Singh murder case comes to an end right here. If you appreciate our efforts, like and share this video. If you haven't subscribed, do so now. Thank you.